This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Let's go over some of the top vlogging tripods that are available out there, and, and let me tell you my favorite one. I'll get to my favorite last, obviously, for watch time. You've heard of these, you've seen these. This is the Casey Neistat style. This is what we all started on. This one is the 5K. This one is the 3K Pro, but it does have a different ball head on it because I'm actually using this ball head right now to hold up my camera on this little tripod that I sort of rigged together. There are a lot of issues with this style tripod. There's one major benefit. The benefit is you can sometimes wrap it around trees and branches and like on things and get a shot. For me, the number of times that I do that or, or want to do that is so minimal, that's not a major selling point. How I ended up using this tripod primarily is I try to get it as low a center of gravity as possible so that my camera would have less of a chance of falling over. But this this tripod is notorious for falling over in situations like that, with especially with bigger lenses. Even if you get the 5K, like, eventually these wear out, which is which is uh, not awesome. The longest that I ever had one last was maybe seven months. This one is so crazy. I, I think I left it in the car or something and like it got super loose and wobbly when it got too hot. Uh, so that was a bit of a bummer. No adjustments on there to tighten it back up, anything. Basically just like as soon as it's done, it's done. That's the Gorilla Pod. Then, these awesome creators created this thing called the Switch Pod, which I've made videos about before. This is by far the funnest, the funnest of the of the tripods because you can switch it out like that, like a switchblade. Packs up super slim, right in the side of your bag. Doesn't come with a ball head, but they do offer a ball head if you want to be able to get that swivel, which is super important. I used this for a long time and I did like it, didn't wear out, though it does get a little rinky. I had added magnets to it, one of my magnets fell off. Just to clarify, it has magnets built in, but I didn't think that they were strong enough, so I added stronger magnets um, to keep it from flopping around when I was walking with it. It's a good tripod, it's definitely a good tripod. I think, I think it's like 99 bucks or close, or maybe a little bit over 99. Similar with these, um, you know, higher ranges. I think the 3K Pro, I'll throw the price up, a little bit more expensive, but strong build, metal, feels good. The issue with this one is it's much less versatile than a Gorilla Pod. You can't make it any lower and you need a space this big to set it on. So if you ever don't have a space this big to set it on, you're out of luck. Yeah, again, still a great tripod, just not my favorite. Let's get to my favorite. If you're a solo filmmaker, you need a tabletop tripod, you also need a website to be able to show people your work. Squarespace is that. Squarespace is the website design company for people who don't want to become professional web designers. Amazing professional templates, very easy to just get up and running super fast. You can sell products there, no problem. An analytics suite that will just show you everything that you're doing well, what you could be improving on. If you wanna check it out, you can get a free trial by going to squarespace.com slash Cody Warner, and then when you're ready to buy, get 10% off your first order using the code Cody Warner. I was looking for just a low center of gravity tabletop tripod. Didn't know that any of them existed. I actually rigged this one together out of this Apogee hype mic stand and a Joby ball head. I put those two together, was using that for a while and really liked it. Just small, compact, low center of gravity. So long lens, short lens, doesn't matter. I don't feel like this tripod's going to fall over. Then Small Rig advertised this to me on Instagram and it was basically the exact thing that I had tried to create. Arca Swiss, the thing with this one is you can individually adjust the tightness of each one of these legs. So if these get loose, you can tighten them back up, which is which is incredible. Super low center of gravity. Like when you set it down like this, camera's so low, you're not afraid that it's gonna fall over. I've done a lot of different configurations with this and it works really well. If you don't need that low center of gravity or you're not afraid of it flipping, on it with a longer lens, you can put it like this. It's got the rubber on the bottom to be able to get like a super small base and get a shot on a little pipe or pole or whatever you're, whatever you're setting it on. The other major benefit, it's 44 bucks. You can get two of these for the price of one of these, which is just, which is just amazing. I've just been very impressed with it. Been using it for like maybe two months now, tighten these up one time and, uh, and yeah, small rig. Great job on the, on the tabletop tripod. Absolutely love it. So that's been my experience with these tripods. Thanks so much for being here. Subscribe, hit the bells, like the buttons. I'll see you in the next one.